Hi, uh, I'm Mel Day, and I was just thinking about things I could do, um, uh, content I could generate that could potentially be anything but what's related to what's happening right now in the world. Um, so I decided I'm going to read some poetry, and uh, I was thinking and debating a lot about what I was going to read first, and so I went, as I was looking on my bush bookshelves, uh, went to my tried and true Elizabeth Bishop, who is my favorite poet of all time. Um, this poem, the most arguably her most famous poem, which I'll be reading, uh, called One Art, uh, means a lot to me in a lot of different ways. I also think it's really relevant right now without trying to be super negative and down. Um, and I'll explain more a little bit why this is important to me and maybe a little bit more of the history and background of the poem itself. So, One Art by Elizabeth Bishop. The art of losing isn't hard to master. So many things seem filled with the intent to be lost that their loss is no disaster. Lose something every day except the fluster of lost door keys, the hour badly spent, the art of losing isn't hard to master. Then practice losing farther, losing faster, places and names and where it was you meant to travel. None of these will bring disaster. I lost my mother's watch and look, my last or next to last of three loved houses went. The art of losing isn't hard to master. I lost two cities, lovely ones, and vaster, some realms I owned, two rivers, a continent. I missed them, but it wasn't a disaster. Even losing you, the joking voice, a gesture I love, I shan't have lied. It's evident the heart, the art of losing's not too hard to master, though it may look like, write it, like disaster. Um, so anybody who knows me well knows that I have a tendency to lose things. <laughs> um, it's always been like that since I was a kid, uh, whether it was a coat or keys or anything. Um, I am not well, I am not well, I am not good at remembering things. Um, but this also goes beyond too, just things, physical, tangible things like keys, but then also into more ephemeral things like time, the hour badly spent. Um, and things that are meaningful, like her mother's watch. And I've lost a couple of things that were valuable, um, not anything that I was really, really distraught. And that was extremely like important to me, but, um, even those things, it's just, I can only control what I can control. And if I lose things, even if they're not, even if they are super important, um, it's not a disaster. The world isn't going to stop because we lose certain things, even people as it goes on to say later, um, homes and cities and things like that, whether that's physical or spiritual or memories. Um, but in the context in the last stanza of talking about even losing you and the joking and gestures and, uh, and maybe there is a little sense of sarcasm in this of like, uh, it's evident that the art of losing is not too hard to master, master, though it may look like write it like disaster. And you can kind of see there's some punctuation there too that's uh, can be kind of clever with the uh, parentheses here and write it, her being a writer and all these things too. Um, and my notes from my intermediate poetry class, <laughs> slightly. Um, a lot of it is about accepting how life is. And I think that in this world right now, it's just accepting 
how things are and what we can do about it and then letting everything else go. Um, and there is sort of an art to losing that. Um, I also, it's like getting into further layers. It's um, embracing this art of poetry as something I can do. Um, this art of videotaping and YouTube and all that crazy shit we have now. That's uh, part of the social distancing phenomenon that's happening. Um, and for me, I lost a sense of um, purpose p somewhat um, as I was not doing theater anymore. Uh, and still I consider myself an artist and that's a huge part of my identity. And that's just another type of loss that I've had in my life. And I think that life is full of loss um, from the minor to the major. Um, so it's how we can sort of roll with those punches that I think is important. As far as what Elizabeth Bishop was saying here, or what I partially, what I think, what she was trying to express, and one of the reasons why I love her so much is she, um, well, first of all, her and I have a lot of things in common. Well, I am in recovery. She was in active addiction her entire life. Um, mostly to alcohol, which was what my substance of choice mostly was. Um, and she's queer as well. Um, and she wrote this poem shortly after she lost her partner of decades to suicide. And um, there were, shoot, so her partner was a Brazilian uh, architect and they were far ahead of their times. I mean, we're talking about the 30s here and they were a pretty notorious couple. Um, I mean, as much as you can be, hush, hush. Uh, and she split, Elizabeth Bishop spent her time between United States and Brazil, um, had a really, really difficult time sort of um, learning Portuguese, uh, adjusting to the culture and climate while she's also this like poet laureate of the United States of America and sort of like missing her home and connection there. Um, and then losing one of the loves of her, great loves of her life uh, by a very dramatic and difficult way. Um, so I don't know, there's some food for thought. I'm gonna stop this video now. Uh, if you have any requests for poems for me to read, please put them in the comments. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to keep doing this when I feel like it. Um, at first, I was like, I'm going to do this every day. This is great. But realistically, I just think that's not <laughs> totally an option, especially if I want to look like this for those videos. So, um, yeah, thanks again for those of you who have listened. Um, if not you can skip and jump ahead to whatever the heck you want to listen to the poem itself uh again it's one art elizabeth bishop and this is mel day and i'll be reading you some poetry later sometime stay safe and healthy everybody take care love you stay inside if you can and sanitize and moisturize okay bye